deep in the backwoods of Pennsylvania. A tradition as old as time begins. Feared by many and known by all. The onset of rifle season brings about the march of the Orange Army. treasure did well for me in Kansas that is way too small I've got a big old brain full of knowledge it's still too small <coughs> there she is right there just right mask <laughs> everything. dead back there, boys. We're done. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! You see dumb, but I'm not that dumb. You read me like a book. <laughs> <laughs> that worked surprisingly better than I thought it would. <laughs> Yeah, that would have got me right in the face. That would have been brutal. Poop kit, huh? Yeah, poop kit. Big poop kit guy? Yeah, I transfer between bags all the time. I have it. All right, well, we're here in Pennsylvania. <laughs> hunting with our buddy Bo Martonic. Joining the Orange Army this week, doing a little rifle hunting on some big woods public. Deer drives is the plan, right? Yeah, so with a short amount of time, uh, with three days to really be able to hunt, I think the best best option is to be doing kind of some bump drives, some wind bump drives. The idea of this type of drive is not to make the deer sprint full on, it's just to kind of get them get up, them up and... and move on a little bit so you're able to get a, a shot opportunity. Okay, so we're gonna be coming from the south. Drew and Thomas are gonna be set up to the north. Yep. Idea is to use that south wind push and, them to them. and push it up to them. And we're just gonna go nice and slow and just then work our way through and see what we can jump up to them. got to the area where we're going to start driving. I'm going to put the main camera up, put a GoPro on my head, and uh, we're in hunt mode, so I'm going to kick it over the GoPro and hopefully we either make it a shot at something just jumping as we're driving or hopefully push them right to Drew and Thomas. So, this going to be fun.
I've never done this before. And the woods out here, I mean, it feels like you're in just like deep, dark, thick timber. It's pretty cool. It's very different than what I'm used to. Big Rob. Right here. We just blew our first deer out. I couldn't tell what it was. I, th I think I saw a doe. I don't know what else was in there. I think there was definitely more than one though. I got a glimpse of them running through this thicket to my left and then they kind of cut across this little swamp bit opening. Hopefully they're headed towards Drew and Thomas. Right off the road. Okay. I got probably a 90 inch eight pointer. Oh, really? Oh, a legal buck. There's a legal buck. Oh, oh man. The corner, come back up and just push this across. Sounds good. Second push, no dice. Soon we'll probably reset. It might be a little bit too far of a shot for you as far as across. I don't know what your ability is with the rifle. Probably 30 yards and in, so it might be a little bit far. Let me get some coffee in my sister and then we'll revisit Thomas. Not awake yet. Yeah, like star bars. Little whipped cream. If there's any bacon that wasn't didn't turn out real good, Lee did help. <laughs> you guys just gotta provide the back straps. I got you. Nice. Me and my dad are gonna come down this valley. Okay. We're just gonna kind of work our way over to that. Cool. You want a high res, Johnny, or what? All right. So the plan is, is we got a spot of service right here. We're all gonna download some offline maps for our Spartan Forge apps. But I want to take a second to kind of introduce you guys to who's here because our little orange army is growing. We've got Johnny, who you guys know probably from the North Dakota video. Uh, we're staying at his cabin uh, in town. Johnny is literally a deer. He's probably one of the most <laughs> uh, knowledgeable guys as it comes to, you know, as it comes to figuring out deer. You guys know Bo, you know, whatever. This is his dad, Joe. <laughs> How many times did y'all drop him? Quite a few. Yeah, kind of figured so. <laughs> uh, Bo runs the, the podcast uh, East Meets West, and he's part of the Spartan Forge family. That's kind of how we all cross paths. But like I said, our little army is growing. 
might grow of more if we go to the local bar in town, recruit some guys. But we're gonna keep doing some deer drives. Looks to be beautiful. Yep, 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 yep. Every yeah. time. Every time. He's talking to his Uncle Joe in the White House again. <laughs> We're headed south over here. Yeah. That's one the buck. I was literally about to play a prank on you. That's why we set that camera up, because we I was about to be like, hey, we're gonna play a prank on Bo and say big buck, big buck, and as I did that, four deer came running down the hill. in the back almost a little buck. This is, this is real time deer cam right here. A lot of history and memories in this place. There's Bo. You say that like it's your place. <laughs> I can just feel it. You can feel the memories. Look at that some little bow right there. Did you have blonde hair? Yeah. Did you get all the girls? The girls love that. <laughs> they love old deer. <laughs> <laughs> continues to grow day by day. I'm gonna eat some eggs now. I thought it was the before. He's got breakfast three times a day. That's why. When I was in Montana, we were all time. Every time we cook up breakfast, a bowl would come in. 
had it happen three different times. One guy low, one guy middle, one guy high. Nothing. I'm starting to think the deer have figured this this game out. Go ahead, Joe. Just roll, guy. Do it. It's smooth. We can't be fiddling around. Got set up on this power line. There's a rub right here, another big rub on a little pine sapling over here. Drew and Johnny are set up further to the north down this power line, and we got Johnny, Joe, and Bo. No, not Johnny, Michael, Joe, and Bo that are all going to be pushing this way, hopefully, catching these deer coming across this power line right here. They say that they've had success doing this in the past, so this seems like it's it's a good spot. We've kind of set up where we can see that way a good bit and try to see down this way as good as we can, but it gets pretty thick in here. Yep. Yep. Thomas, you on him? I got him. Are you ready? Yep. Did he drop? Did he drop for real? I'm pretty sure I see antlers in the ground. He's flopping. I might have spined him. We need to run up and put a finishing bullet in him. We got him, buddy. Pennsylvania public land. <laughs> yep. Yep. They're coming right now. Sweet mayo. <laughs> yeah, he's right here. Hey, it happened fast. <laughs> yes! I know! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! Congratulations! Awesome, guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Woo. 
was so you really <laughs> was. Hey, it ha it like I we were set up in that that pine back there. Yep. And I was looking that way and Thomas was like, right here, right here, right here. Two bucks and two or three does. And they were high high tailing in here and it was like sp split. Well, they came out of here. No, they came here. Okay. But it was literally split second, like I mean a, a split second to shoot. He they were running, 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 and he stopped. Yeah. That's a good buck. That is a good Yeah. Buck. That's a good three year old right there. Yep. That's exactly what we're looking That's for. So buddy. Awesome. Oh my gosh. That's not a barely legal buck. No. And that's not really a meat buck either. No. That's a good buck. That's a great buck. Sorry I had to hold out to the last day for you, but hey, it made it that much sweeter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what awesome. you do. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got an oil mount, right? We're gonna moisten the oil on some gas. For for to experience, this has been a treat. And we appreciate you guys showing us the ropes out here. I mean, y'all's level or just y'all's wisdom and knowledge out here is probably unmatched for everyone we got involved here. So thank y'all for taking us. This has been a a really cool deal to see kind of how y'all do it up here and y'all's tradition of it all. Yeah. Appreciate you guys I don't, coming up and willing to do yeah, that out. I don't think deer drives with rifles in Atlanta would go over so hot. So no. might just want to stick to that tent. <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, come down and hunt with us and see how this works. Oh, what? I was gonna, my hand? I was gonna do a bow if you know. Yeah, sure. Mike, you got him? Got him. He got him. Oh, baby? I don't know. <laughs> do, I know you? do I know you? Hey, uh, you saw a big one? Like a real big one? I said 150 yeah. plus. I said before, big before eight. I told him. No, I 10. Said, big, said, 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, big 10. Yeah, big 10. Before I we went down a pipeline, I said, if you see anything, you're gonna see a big one. I knew, it was back where we started pushing yesterday and I just felt it. Was it near where your big eight was? Yeah, he's all over the place, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he broke half his beam. Alone. Yeah, Pennsylvania five point. <laughs> no, he's got six there, Michael. Yeah, that beam comes out. I'm, That's I'm, a point. I'm, I'm sawzall that often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, six point then. Yeah, you know my story.